Hi everyone, and welcome to Common Ninja's Summer Hackathon. Woo, I want to see everyone clap your hands, although I cannot see you actually. My name is uh, Daniel Sternlicht, and I'm the CEO of Common Ninja, and I'll be your host for today. We are super excited to have you here in our first official event. This is very, very exciting for us. Our agenda for today, uh, for this session, includes, first of all, many, many words, and it will also include a live, hopefully, crossing fingers, flawlessly, a uh, flawless demo of how to start building your app using Common Ninjas tool. Additionally, we'll talk about the logistics, have a quick uh, Q&A session, and finally send you off to start hacking your summer. If you have any question during the presentation, feel free to leave comments on the Q&A panel right below. We will answer your questions at the end. We'll collect everything and answer everything at the end. So I'll start by sharing a few words on the e-commerce market that is currently booming. Um, so the e-commerce market is on fire and presents numerous opportunities for developers and company to bring their innovation and creativity forward and solve problems for merchants and their customers. From tools that improve conversion to smart automation that optimizing to optimize sales to useful apps that help bring more customers and, and even more. There are many e-commerce platforms to work with. Each platform has different APIs, different features, um, different type of uh, merchants, and you want your app to be available for everyone everywhere, regardless of the platform they are using. But it is hard, right? Because building an integration with an e-commerce platform is very complicated. You need to worry about authentication, webhooks, data models, different APIs and documentation, with minimum support and development tools that the platform uh, um, gives you. And also to, you need to find a way at the end to monetize your app. Most of the platform doesn't give you this capability. Um, this is why we actually build Common Ninja. And this is where we are coming from. Common Ninja is a platform that will significantly reduce the time it takes you to integrate with e-commerce platform. With our universal API, you will be able to build your app once and launch it across multiple platforms. Uh, uh, the idea is that you will be focused on building your amazing app and we will take care of the rest. Authentication and user management, webhook handlement and normalization, a single API that you can work with, a payment solution for monetizing your app, supporting both one-time payments and recurring payments, um, and you'll be able to work with any payment platform uh, you want, like Stripe or PayPal or Paddle. Having said that, um, let's talk about the hackathon and what you are actually going to build. So the hackathon is all about simplifying the integration process and helping you to bring your ideas to e-commerce app markets while reducing the time and resources needed to do it. You'll be required to develop any kind of app slash plugin slash widget for e-commerce merchant. The app should help merchants to improve conversions, bring customers in, scale their business, or provide any other real value for the online store. A few examples might be project image manipulation, store font enhancement, like widgets that you can add to the storefront, alerts and notifications app about things that happening inside the store, process automation, and so on. If you want, we've prepared a few examples and ideas of apps that you can build during this hackathon. We'll send this link exactly at the end of the presentation um, in our social channel. Now let's talk about how you are actually going to build the app. So the development process includes a few steps and I'll show everything during the live demo at the end of the session. But overall, the first thing that you'll need to do is to sign up to Common Ninja, open a developer account, and create your first app. Once you created your first app, you will be required to add your first integration. It could be Shopify, WooCommerce, BigCommerce, whatever platform we currently support. Next, we've prepared a starter kit that runs with Node and React. This will save you a lot of time setting up your development environment. So you can use it, but you don't must. You can set your own development environment. It's your decision. Once the project will run, you will be able to make API calls to our API. And from there, you can build your apps, UI, business logic, and backend. Again, we'll see everything in the live demo, demo at the end of the session. Um, now, I guess you're already familiar with the prizes because we talked about it um, like anywhere, but here they are. 
the first place will win PlayStation 5, second place will win Oculus Quest 2, and the third place will get a $100 gift card for Steam. In addition, we will help the winners to submit and publish their apps to the different e-commerce stores. We have a lot of experience with that. And they will get, in addition, a one year's pro subscription to Common Ninja for free. And we'll also help these winners to promote their app using our different marketing channels, our blog, our website, our newsletter, etc. In terms of the rules of the hackathon, there are many, but here are the most important ones. First of all, you can work either as an individual or as part of a team, but know that the prices are for singles, okay? So one PlayStation, one Oculus 2, and, and one gift card. You need to use at least one of Common Ninja's APIs that we support. If you only use us for authentication or for payment, that's okay as well. At the end of the hackathon, there must be functional, meaning we should be able to test it and see it live and works. Okay, this is very, very important. This is, the, in, in this way, we'll be able to judge um, uh, the apps that you build. There is also a link to the complete rules of the hackathon attached. Again, we will send this presentation afterwards in Discord and in our social channel. Regarding timelines, so here we are today. This is the opening event of the hackathon. Um, we are kicking off the hackathon today. In the next three weeks, you'll be able to hack like mad <laughs> And, uh, and build your apps. On July uh, 31, we'll do a closing session and present your work. And on August 1st, we'll announce the winners on social media and on Discord. In terms of resources, we have plenty of them, um, but overall we have the official documentation of Common Ninja where you can, where you can learn more about how to work with our platform. Uh, we also have a GitHub, um, uh, account where you can find our notice decay package, the starter kit that uh, we discussed, and more other useful resources. And there are other resources here that uh, we mentioned. And finally, if you haven't joined yet our Discord community, please do. We'll communicate links, resources, and other materials both via emails and on the official Discord channel we created for the hackathon called Hackathon 2022. Feel free to reach out with any questions or concerns you have uh, through Discord or email. This is our support email. Um, and next thing we'll do is actually the live demo. Okay, after the live demo, we'll have time for Q&A. Meanwhile, if you have questions, feel free uh, to ask them in the Q&A um, of Zoom. Okay, so I'm uh, stopping the share session and starting the new one for my desktop. Okay, so the first thing you want to do, as I said, is to, sorry, not good luck yet. So the first thing you want to do is to go to commonninja.com and create a developer account. Okay, so you simply need to go here, click the join button and create a developer account in Common Ninja. Once you have that, you go to the My Apps dashboard where you can create a new app that is, is a common ninja app. So you click the create new app button. Um, let's call it hackathon demo app and click the create app button. Once you have that, you'll see um, that you're getting a view of uh, the dashboard of, of the app that you just created. Two, two important things about this dashboard. First of all, is the app ID and app secret. We will use it in a bit. And the other one is that you can see um, many uh, um, interesting analytics about your app, about the revenue, about the installation, the subscription that, that, you, that users um, uh, have in your app, etc. The next thing you will want to do is to add integration to our app. Um, we have currently eight e-commerce platforms that we support. We are going to add many more soon. Um, let's start with the most easy one, I would say WooCommerce, okay? So I added the WooCommerce integration the same way I can connect Shopify. You have the, the, uh, our documentation that explains how to add exactly the integration. Overall, it just put in here the API key and API secret of your, um, of your app in Shopify, and then copy and paste these two URL in the equivalent uh, fields on Shopify, the app URL and the allowed redirection URL. So for the purpose of this demo, we will use WooCommerce because it doesn't require you any API secrets, et cetera. Okay, so um, 
we added integration. The next thing we want to do is to go to Common Ninja's GitHub account and look for the Common Ninja Node React Starter Kit. Um, I already cloned it to my computer, so I don't need to do it again. But this is how the project looks like. Very straightforward. If you have any experience with Docker, okay, so, so maybe um, this structure will, will be familiar to you. But overall, you have two packages, one for the client app and the other one for server. For the server app, the server is already set with TypeScript. You don't have to use it, but you can. And so it's already set up with TypeScript and the client um, is already set up with React project, like a very initial um, and native <laughs> React project, okay? That you can use, we'll go over it again in a second. Um, the next thing you want to do under the server app, you want to open a .env file and you'll see that you have a common ninja app ID and common ninja app secret that you need to enter. Um, you guess it right. You need to go to the dashboard of your app in Common Ninja, copy the app ID and paste it here, copy the app secret and paste it here. Once you've done these two steps, you can simply run Docker Compose app. And this command will run both the node server and the uh, React server as well, development server as well. Okay, so we wait, the job is completed. We can see the container, the two containers running here, one CN common ninja app client and the other one common ninja app server. We can see the logs of these machines. Okay, so let's see. Um, so this one, the server is running on port 4010. So we can see it here, either. And the client will run, I think on port 3000. Okay, so if we go to port 3000, we will get a connect button. Okay, the meaning of the, of the connect button is that uh, in order to work with Common Ninja's API, we need to connect to one of the platforms. Now, since we added two integration at the moment, one for Shopify and one for e-commerce, after we'll click the connect button, we'll see two options for connecting um, to, to, to either one of the platforms. So let's go with, with WooCommerce. And I'm going to put the WooCommerce shop URL, which is under blogcommonninja.com. Once I have that, I'll get the authentication flow of WooCommerce. Okay, so I'm logging in. Um, this is the, the list of permissions that's currently uh, the app is asking. Clicking the approve button. And we are back to the localhost 3000. And now I see a message logged in as this username or this uh, store. This means that the authentication flow went flawlessly and we are currently have an access to this shop's um, credentials and API, and we can start making API calls on behalf of it. Okay, this is like, how easy was it, right? Um, let's see it, let, let's see how it works in the code. So we'll start with the server. And um, so you can see under like the apps, the, the entry point is very, very straightforward. Like you have the body parser if you're familiar with Node.js and then we are uh, calling the router. Uh, and these have two main routes, two important routes. The first one is slash connect. This is the route that we redirected in order for the user to connect um, to his e-commerce store. And the other one is slash API, which is a proxy from the client uh, app that we, be, we that we are building to Common Ninja's API. Now let's see how it looks like from the client perspective. So we are going to client SLC app.js. Again, th there is not a lot of things here. It, it's very plain and simple. And um, so you can start making whatever changes you want. Um, but basically we have two different state ones for user and the other one for the login indicator that you saw. And we are using the use effect. If the user exists, if we already uh, have a user, sorry, if we, if we don't have user yet, we are rendering the connect button that redirects to the server slash connect. And if we already have the user details that simply um, show the user dot platform user ID, which is the uh, shop name. 
Okay, the same way I can do JSON stringify to user just to uh, see how this object look like. And once I do that, you can see um, this, these are the details that common ninja send, sends me for getting um, the user's details. So I'm getting the platform user ID from which platform is coming from, if you have a subscription, uh, what's the idea of the subscription, which plan do, do we currently have, which features exist on this plan, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so this is very important. Um, another thing we want to do, I wanted to show you is actually how to work with the API, let's say for uh, fetching the products of the store. Okay, so we can go to Common Ninja's documentation. We have very easy to use and simple to read documentation, really. Um, so you can see like, like everything we did so far, the SDK library, the authentication flow, how it works like behind the scenes, what the header we are using, et cetera. Um, but what I wanted to show you is actually the APIs. So the first API we use is for uh, getting user details. Okay, so it's commonninja.com slash integration slash API v1 user. You can see the exact same call here. Okay, and now the next thing we want to do is to go to one of the e-commerce um, APIs called product. And we want to fetch the products that this store has. Okay, so let's do another test. Once we have the user, let's create another uh, user fact. Okay, and once the user is changing, if user, um, let's call a function called get product. And what this function is going to do, is it's going to call common ninjas API and bring the, fetch the products of the store. So get products, let's do a request to API slash um, e-commerce slash products. Okay. Um, let's create a state for the product just so we have something products and set products okay and as default it will it will be an empty array now once we have the product let's try to log and see what we are getting here um products json okay let's see what we are getting get products why product Okay, so let's see, let's open the console. Let's see the network call and, sorry, Zoom is bothering me. Um, cool, so we can see that we managed to make the request as we wanted with the, with the user token that we already have. And we are getting a list of products from the store. Again, very straightforward no worries about how it looks like and, and how to make the calls and, and complicated APIs. Um, so now that we have these products under data, let's render them as well. So data equal JSON set products data and then uh, in the render app, let's do something like that. Um, under app, we are rendering the connect button. Let's say if user and products dot length, and then we'll present a map products map product. Um, and currently let's simply, let's simply return the product name. Okay, we can see how product looks like in Common Ninja. Again, this is a unified model for product across all platforms. So you don't need to worry about how the product looks like in Shopify and how it looks like on WooCommerce, et cetera. So this is how uh, we think about product. So we have the title, so let's use that product. the title and let's see what we get. We get zero, which is great, I guess. No, it's not great. We need to do this. 
and why we are not getting anything. Let's log the products. Oh, under product, we have items. Okay, okay. No worries. This is like a very naive approach. Okay, you, you probably need to check that the data exists under the JSON object and items exist um, underneath. But um, there you go. We have a list of the products that we have in this store. In this store. And if you want to show the images as well, this is also very easy because let's add an image tag. Whoops. Okay, so product dot, let's make sure I'm correct. And so it's images, okay, it's a string array. So it's product images um, in the first position, in the zero position, out image. Okay, let's see what's going on. This zero again, I don't like this zero. Something is breaking. Cannot leave perfectly as a fun defined. Okay. And so let's do images and product images length. It's just uh, again, quick and dirty. This is not how I code, believe me. Or even better, let's do that. Okay, then only if we have product images, we will render it here. Okay, crossing fingers. And nothing. Let's see why, maybe we don't have images. That's, that's possible. Oh, we simply don't have images at all. Okay, um, but if we would have images, it will be displayed here. So bear with me. Um, okay, I hope that's clear. This is like the live demo I wanted to show you how easy it is to start working with the data of the um, uh, user's store, online store, regardless the platform he's coming from. Um, I can quickly show you how easy it is to work with Shopify as well. Um, if you want, we can do it like offline. So, that's it, I think, in terms of demo. Let's see if I missed something. Um, no, I think we are done. Um, next thing will be the Q&A session. So let us know what you have. Not good luck yet. Um, any question for the from the audience, Erez, someone? You can write either in chat or in the Q and A on Q and A widget. So Daniel, it seems like uh, your demo was quite clear. Oh, here we have someone asking. So can you explain what's the idea of the hackathon again? Yes. Um, so very simple. The idea is that you create an app for e-commerce platform. Um, we have an example, we have examples of such apps that you can develop and um, ask us later and we'll send you a link like with a list of apps that you can create. If you're not familiar with the e-commerce world, again, we, we'll be happy to, to meet and give you more information about that. But basically uh, these platforms allow you, platforms like Shopify, Wix, WooCommerce, BigCommerce, allow merchants to create online stores and sell their products online the same way you buy things in Amazon. Sure. Okay, um, we have anonymous attendee who is asking, assume the plugin will be code in this hackathon is profitable. It will be on the coder's ownership, am I correct? Yes, you are definitely correct. The app is yours. This is not common in just apps. We are only working behind the things, um, helping you to build the app much faster uh, than, than you have to if you do it yourself uh, from scratch, okay? We have uh, a lot of experience with that, with creating apps from scratch and working with the different 
APIs. Um, this is why we created this platform. But again, the app is yours. You are the owner of the app. The brand is yours. We're here just to help. Hope that answered the question. Anyone else? Um, David, Alexis, Daniel. I'll, 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 I'll just you. say uh, one more thing. Uh, first, so we talked about the uh, e-com platform. Uh, app is a, app is very cool. It's a micro product. Uh, you got everything there. You got a, a small piece of code and design and product that uh, helped the merchant, the store owner to either uh, enhance the design of the store or get more uh, customers or uh, help them with marketing. Um, we have a list of ideas for apps we'll send you. Uh, we also understand that um, you might uh, need some help with design and uh, we have, uh, uh, we, we, we connect with uh, also uh, the designer community and we can get designers if you'll need uh, to help you and work as a team. Uh, so basically uh, we're here to help anything you, any question during the hackathon uh, ideas, if you wanna talk, if you need any kind of help, uh, just contact us, we'll be happy to. Yeah, uh, uh, there are also, in addition to designer that will be happy to help, there are also product managers and project managers who have a great ideas for apps and looking for developers that will help them to uh, develop it. So you can team up with them as well. They are all um, in our uh, um, Discord channel. So you can approach them there. Um, there is another question here from Anat. Um, can we use... Demi, demo data, I guess that's the question. Um, of course you can, it doesn't have to be like a real store. You can like add yeah. in Shopify, uh, dummy data. And we, we have can, a, can elaborate with, uh, on that. Sorry. Yeah, we, we have um, some documentation on that uh, for people who are not uh, familiar with Shopify. For example, how to open your uh, development store. It's very easy. And uh, also how to add product or uh, kind of sample data, mock-up data. So you can get some result while uh, you develop. Again, after this meeting, we'll send all the links and all the documentation to help you. And uh, I guess that uh, that will answer your uh, question. Cool, so uh, if you have any other question, again, you can reach out whenever you want. Uh, we are available um, just if you miss that on Discord or in this email, uh, feel free to reach out really for everything. Um, so that's it. All right, everyone. Thank you for joining us. We can't wait to see what you're building and what would be the next big app uh, for e-commerce. Uh, merchants. So good luck, everyone. And uh, that's it. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.